I read this book and I couldn't believe that this man led this lifestyle and still survived. And, but didn't you, in fact, actually talk to him during the making of the film oh, or yeah. in some way? Quite, he, he... quite incessantly. Yeah. <laughs> quite incessantly. So tell us who he was. I mean, you, we know his story in the book, but you just said one interesting thing. He, he was truthful. Yes. To himself. That's what I think yes. I appreciated most of was that he, you know, to him the book I think was a cautionary tale of his time on Wall Street. And since, you know, since that time he's, he's a much different person and he's actually depicted as we depict him at the end of this movie of somebody that's going around talking about the dangers of greed and, right. and uh, trying to, you know, get into the business sector with, with you know, um, some sort of moral yeah, foundation. Kind of Tony Robbins of his time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But uh, his, he was incredibly candid and, and, and honest with me about what he went through. And a lot of times he would, we would talk about sections in the book and say, not only was it that bad, I was ten times worse. And I'm going to tell you why. And I, and I really appreciated that honesty yeah. because I think, you know, from Marty's perspective, he wanted to have a little bit of distance from that subject. Mm -hmm. But I needed to speak to him uh, constantly just to get, you know, the nuances and the detail of 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 of, of what these scenes were like. Mm -hmm.